Hi, I'm Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand quick sort working mechanism. In our previous video, we have discussed about the merge sort. So understanding merge sort will help you a lot in understanding the quick sort very easily. So please watch those videos and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, how the quick sort works that we will try to in understand in this class. In our later class, we'll try to understand the algorithms for quick sort so how the quick sort works is it all it works based upon the principle of divide and conquer algorithm design technique so about the divide and conquer design technique we have already discussed so it is also based upon the divide and conquer technique here uh, this is a sorting algorithm so it is going to divide the array of elements into two halves so it is going to divide them into small small pieces and the division is done until uh, the elements cannot be further divided and there the, the elements will get conquered in the sense they will get uh, arranged in the sorted order so this is how the uh, divide and conquer works and uh, about this quick sort so how the division is done how the division is done is based upon the principle of based upon the function called partition so what that partition means is it is going to take so in this entire array for example consider this array in this entire array it is going to consider one of the element as the pivot element one of the element as the pivot element so that element is identified the pivot the pivot element which has been identified that we are going to bring that element into its position we are going to bring that element into its position so after bringing so in the process of executing that partition algorithm what happens is so the pivot element will be brought into its position and the elements which are larger than uh, which are smaller than the pivot element will be uh, uh, will be uh, uh, will be brought to the left hand side of the element and the elements which are larger than the pivot element will be brought to the right side right hand side of it so let's try to understand we'll try to understand the algorithm the the working mechanism in detail by using this example for example so here we will consider this array and we will consider the last element as the pivot element some algorithms may use first element as the pivot element in our algorithm we will consider the last element last element of the array as the pivot element now what the partition algorithm will do is it is going to shift this last element into its position for example if you arrange all these elements in the sorting order how it can be it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 7 8 and what is the index for 4 the index for 4 is 3 it is 0 1 2 3 the index for 4 is 3 so the last element so its position is in the last position now it is going to we are going to place this uh, element into its position in the sorted order in the sorted order what is the position for 4 the position for 4 is at the index 3 so it will get shifted into this position and all the elements to the left of it are going to be in less than that element less than or equal to that element and all the elements to the right of it are going to be arranged in such a way so that all the elements to the right of it are going to be greater than or equal to the pivot element so this is how the partition algorithm will work okay every time we are going to call the partition element and based upon that partition element we are going to divide the array so uh, what happens is so on this array if you apply based upon this element considering this as the pivot element if we apply partition algorithm it will get converted into this form so how it will get converted that we'll try to understand in our next video so what what how this algorithm works is partition algorithm partition algorithm will be applied on the array and we are going to consider the pivot element as the last element of the array and this element will be arranged in its position and after that after completing that entire partition algorithm all the elements to the left of it are going to be smaller than or equal to this pivot element and the elements to the right of it are going to be the uh, going to be larger uh, greater than or equal to this pivot element so aren't they in that fashion yes they are in that fashion so now and uh, 
next based upon this pivot element in the merge sort we are going to take the mid element and based upon that mid element we are going to divide the array into two pieces but here we are going to consider the partition element uh, partition we are going to take the partition algorithm for division and that partition algorithm is going to uh, consider the pivot element and uh, 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 that element will be placed in its position and the left of left part of that pivot element will be divided and the right part of the element will be divided in this way again the partition will get applied uh, uh, again when the partition is getting applied we are going to consider this element as the pivot element in this sub array and we are going to consider this element as the pivot element in this sub array okay now if you arrange this in the sort uh, uh, if you apply the partition algorithm on this what happens all the elements to the left of it are going to be in the uh, going to be less than or equal to the pivot elements because they are already there in the uh, order so they will be in the same position and this is this is going to be the uh, element upon which the partition we are going to divide that uh, array based upon this pivot element so this part will get divided and this part will get divided so this is how the division is done now uh, on this sub array again the partition algorithm is applied so they will get divided into this this, this is how they will get divided see here the sorting happened and two has been divided and one has been divided see here they are two one now uh, after applying the partition element this is going to be the pivot element and this element will be shifted here and this element will be shifted here so now what happens all the elements to the right of it are going to be greater than so this one is going to be one and this one is going to be two so all the elements to the right of it are going to be greater than or equal to this element because there are no left elements so we are going to take we are going to divide this in this way okay so one will be divided and two will be divided because we are having only one element on this sub part of the array we are not going to further divide it into small small pieces so uh, it is not possible for us to divide into small small pieces and to the right of the array this is considered as the pivot element when we apply uh, a partition algorithm all the elements to the left of it are smaller so this will remain in its position and uh, here we are going to divide this into two pieces so this piece and that piece is going to be separated so it is not physically again i am saying that it is not physically separated logically this will get separated means upon these elements the partition will get applied so on this array okay so now again if you apply uh, on this division if we apply uh, what we got is partition algorithm this is considered as pivot element and now if you consider the position how this position has to be it is 5 and this one is going to be 7 and this one is going to be uh, sorry this one is going to be 6 and this one has to be 7 so this one will get arranged in its position and if you based upon this pivot element if we divide this into two halves left part will be separated and the right part will get separated so this one is going to be 5 and this uh, sub part is going to be 7 because we have only one element uh, it, it cannot be further divided into small small pieces so this is how the quick sort will work so by the end of this algorithm if you see the elements in the first position 0th position so this index is 0 right and this index is 1 and this index is 2 this index so the, 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 the other index is here it is already there in the sorted order because this is the first pivot element that we have considered try to get that point based upon the pivot elements we are arranging them in the sorted order that pivot element will get placed in its position that is how the quick sort will work okay so this is uh, uh, index number three this is index four this is index five uh, four and this is index five so in this index we are having six okay and this is index seven uh, this is index 6 and this is index 7 so this is how the elements will get arranged in the sorted order this is how the quick sort will work so the clear explanation about the algorithm using the algorithm how the quick sort works that we will try to understand in our later videos hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching